I give you praise, I give you glory, and I give you honor. Lord God, I thank you, Father God, for another opportunity, Lord God, to feast in your word tonight. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Father God, Lord, I pray, and my continued Jesus. prayer is that, Father, that I would decrease so that yes, you would Lord. increase, Father God. Thank my you. prayers should be fire in my hands, my feet, and my belly, and even in my eyes, oh Lord. In yes, the name Lord. of Jesus, Lord God, my prayer is that the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart would be acceptable in thy sight, oh Lord God. Father God, I thank you that you give me clean hands and a pure heart yes, in order to be able to serve and to bring forth and to rightly divide yes. the word of truth. Yes. Yes, in the name of Jesus. And we say amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. word in the house tonight and I'm going to be in the book of Ephesians. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord God. How many of you know that we are at, at war? Amen. 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 Yes. In the name of Jesus yes, Ephesians. Lord. Hallelujah. Just turn to Ephesians chapter 6 and hold your marker there. Amen. Amen. Oh, I'm going to need you to talk to me to have tonight Amen. said to me. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, God always gives us a word and gives us a message. Amen. Amen. Well, tonight the word is foe. Foe. F O E. Foe. It's already tight, but it's right. Foe. Yeah, well, yeah, you're in trouble. And I'm not playing with him. <laughs> foe. You're like, well, what is a foe? F O E. It is just another word for, if you're taking any notes, a foe is an enemy. Yes, or an opponent. Yes, Did you hear me well? That a foe is an enemy or an opponent. That means somebody that's coming up against you. Amen? Amen. You need to understand. And the title of tonight's message is Know Your Foe. Yes. Know Your Foe. You're like, oh yeah, yeah, you got a new word in your Know Your Foe. That means know your enemy. Amen. You must understand that the devil is our adversary. Amen? Amen? He's the one that comes up against us day in and day out. Amen. And so as I looked up the definition of foe, or I'm just trying to teach you a little bit, amen? So I looked up the definition of a foe. It says an enemy or an opponent. But I went to the B-I-V-L-E. I went to the Bible dictionary to define foe. Because the word, the Webster's just said enemy or opponent. But the Bible definition of, an, of a foe is an enemy or an opponent, one who entertains personal hatred. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, that's from the King James Dictionary of the Bible. And look, the, the biblical definition, it, uh, what, what, it says an enemy or an opponent, but one who entertains personal hatred. Wow. Oh. Grudges. Yes. Malice against him. Oh boy, that boy, that boy, that devil. Trembling, look at it. Yeah, 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 I like that. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you see, when you expose him, you have nothing to be afraid of. Amen. Yeah. Because you know what? You shouldn't be running from the enemy. The enemy should be, should be running from you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, I'm putting the enemy on. No, I'm not running no more. That's right. I don't know about you, but you need to tell, you tell, your, tell your neighbor, know your foe. Know your foe. Know your foe. Know your foe. You need to know who your enemy is. Hallelujah. Yes. You need to know who's for you and who's against you. Yes. Am I preaching in the right house? Yes. Yes. You need to know who's for you and who's against you. Amen. Don't be deceived. Yes. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. This is also like a slash part of discernment because it's good for you to know who's standing with you and who's not standing with you. Amen. And so the Bible tells us that the biblical definition is the enemy is an opponent. He, uh, the foe is an enemy or an opponent. One who entertains hatred or grudges or malice against one another. Now I'm not asking you to point no fingers and raise no hands. But I want you to know, if you take a personal examination as the people that are around you, mm -hmm. people that come into your space, mm -hmm. and you recognize the spirit, mm -hmm. yes, Amen. Lord, hallelujah, then you, then you know that's a foe. Yes, that's not something that you play with. You don't play with your enemy. Oh, right come on now, now. you put them right. under your feet, that's what right. you're supposed to do. Yeah. Come on now. I'm going to get to the scripture, but I want you to understand that your, the devil is your adversary. Mm -hmm. Don't go around labeling somebody as being your enemy because it's a spirit that's operating in the person. Now, come, on, come on, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against what? Principality. Come on now. That's where we turn to the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 6. Some of you should know it by heart. Amen. Beginning at verse number 10, 
I'm going to read it all the way through because I believe some of us might need to get redressed tonight. Amen, amen. amen. Hallelujah. It's the called the full armor of God. Of God. Yeah. You may not have learned it, but it's important to put on the full armor of God. Amen. The word of the Lord God says, are we there? Amen. 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 Ephesians chapter 6, beginning at verse number 10. I'm reading from the New King James Version. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. For you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this age. Amen. Against spiritual hosts in the wickedness in the heavenly realms. Yes, Lord. Therefore, take up the whole arm of God that you may be able to what withstand in the evil day. Having done all to stand, here we go, here we go to put it on. Stand firm uh -huh. by girding up your waist with the girdle of truth. That means tell the truth. Yes. 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 Amen, Jesus. <laughs> I'm a, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. The girdle of truth, not lie, truth. Girding up yes. your waist with truth. Put on the breastplate of righteousness that protects your heart, your feelings, yes. and, and your emotions. emotions. Thank you, Jesus. The breastplate of righteousness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Walking in peace and love. You know what? When you put on that preparation of the gospel of peace, that's more than just a sandal. That's, uh, that's walking in peace and love toward your brothers and sisters inside and outside the body of Christ. Uh, you ain't got a problem with loving somebody that, that's not saved. I ain't got a problem because I was there one time. Amen. I can walk in peace with my brethren, yes. one with another. It doesn't really matter. That's what it means. Preparation of the gospel of peace. We put it on our feet. Let's continue on. And then surely enough, you take above all, you take up the shield of faith, which extinguishes every fiery dart of the wicked one. Yes, Lord. Oh, I'm going to do a piece by piece. The shield of faith extinguishes every negative word. All right. Every negative look. Yes, Lord. Every negative action. Yes. You know what I'm When you got your own, that's why it looks so phased me, baby. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Look, no, 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 look. <laughs> Not at all. Hallelujah. Why? Because I have the shield of faith. Yeah, yeah. And every fiery door. The Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. sight. Hallelujah. Right. That's 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Whenever you're walking by faith, I don't need to see where I'm going because I'm walking by faith. That's why my shield is up. Amen. But whenever you have your shield, recognize when you put your arm on, when you have your shield up, you're not too concerned about negative words. You know what they just bounce That's right all on yes. off of me in the name yeah. of Jesus. They don't, they don't Amen. operate. I don't let it get in my DNA. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's called the shield of faith. Pushing back every negative word. Get that. Look and or action. Amen. So when you have your shield up, don't come tell me how they hurt my feelings, baby. You need to put your arm on. That's it. Uh -huh. Put your arm on. You got your arm on. Look, ran for you like, well, they hurt me. It's all right. I'm not saying that you don't get wounded, warriors. But you know what? Shake yourself. Let's get it yes, together. Lord. Pick up that shield. Yes. Dust it off. Wait a minute. Here. Wait a minute. I got my shield up. And you can't touch this. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I put out. I put out that fire resort you keep sending to my life. I put out them negative looks you keep sending my life. I put that thing out in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I know the enemy, man. I'm Amen. crushing his head. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We have the shield of faith to extinguish every fire resort of the wicked one. And then you put on the helmet of salvation. Yes, Lord. That's the mind of Christ. First Corinthians 2, 16. I have the mind of Christ. That means you put on your helmet. Do you realize every time you put on your helmet, it protects your eye gates, Ooh, your ear gates, and yes, even your mouth gate. Yes, I Lord. bet you never thought about it. When you put your helmet on, Lord God, protect my eye gates, whatever I'm seeing, protect my ear gates, whatever I'm listening to, and protect my mouth, Lord God. Everything that protrudes out of my mouth, if it's not like you, Lord God, then cancel it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whenever you put on that helmet, and even you didn't even know it even covers your neck. Too. Amen. You know, some people like to just, if I could just choke you. If I could just make them stop talking. If I could just, but you know what, it ain't going to work. I will sing like a walking bird. Preach pastor, all right. And I don't sing. <laughs> in the name Lord. of Jesus. We talk about the helmet. And last but surely not least, it's called the sword of the spirit. Yes. Which is the word, of God. the word of God. That's God's holy and divine word. And you must understand when you put on the full armor of God, you must put it on piece by piece. Hallelujah. Yes, and I'm telling you why it's important for you to put it on because we are at war. 
Amen. Amen. When the enemy is not playing with us, I right. some of you may not realize because you're too busy playing church. Uh, but yeah, yeah, out today. Amen. Yeah, you're like, yeah, I'm not playing church. Yeah, well, then why aren't you putting on your armor then? All right. Hallelujah. Why aren't all right. you putting it on and taking a stand? You know what? Don't be calling good evil when you know that's yeah. not evil. Amen. Yeah. All right. When you know somebody's doing something good and you fall in line and say that it's done bad, wait a minute. You're playing in the devil's camp. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're somebody. But the Bible says you must know your foe. I'm going somewhere tonight. I just help me fly this plane, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. God, I want you to understand that when you have on your full armor, because you understand who you're fighting up against. You're not fighting up against a person. Amen. 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 Talk to me. I don't want anybody to say that, you know, I'm coming. Oh, pastor said, go up again. No, you're fighting up against a spirit. Mm -hmm. I already, I said it many times before. Your foe is not your spouse. That's right. Your foe is not your boss. Your foe is not your friend. Your foe, that's not, it's the spirit that's operating in them. Yes. Come on now. You must understand that the enemy will use anything. That's right. Woo! That's right. Hallelujah. It'll use anything that's available. Yes. Hallelujah. That's why I just pray, don't let it be you. All oh, right now. Jesus. All right now. Look, 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 you put your arm on, you're like, that's not happening. Come Amen. On. That's not going to happen right here. As we're in the scripture, as you're there in the book of Ephesians, the Bible tells us to make sure that you put on the full armor of God. But I want you to understand as we go a little bit deeper, the Bible says in the book of Philippians that we must be sober and be vigilant. Amen. Come on now. Now I turn with me to Philippians. It's just another chapter over. You know I love to hear the pages turning. I like to keep the words up. Philippians chapter 5. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Chapter 4. Oh, wait, here we go. Chapter Thank you. I apologize. I'm going to the wrong book. Thank you, Lord. Help me, Holy Ghost. Philippians. Are we there? Amen. The word is right there. The word of the Lord God said, be sober and be vigilant. Because our adversary goes for Philippians. Wait, hold. Wait a minute. Thank the Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wait a minute. Let me stay right there. Because the, uh, for those of you who are taking notes, it's 1 Peter 5 and 8. But the Lord apparently wants me to go to Philippians chapter 4. Mm -hmm. Philippians, uh, Philippians chapter 4 is where the Holy Spirit just led me. Make a note. Okay. Amen. Make a note. 1 Peter 5. It's where the Lord is talking about, about being sober and vigilant. Amen. But I'm going to be obedient because, the Lord, I, you know what, I'm I under his leadership. Amen. Philippians chapter 4. Amen. The Lord God says, I'm drop, dropping all the way down where you told me to look. And verse number 4. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say what? Rejoice! Hallelujah! That's nowhere in my notes, so I just thank you, Lord God. Thank you're like, oh, no, 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 awesome. I don't call it a mistake. I call it, Lord God, a yeah, 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 yeah. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again, yes. I say rejoice. Yes. Because yes. you know what? That's something that the Lord would like, no matter your fault, yes. no matter who's coming up against you. You know what? You got to learn how to start rejoicing. Yes. Yes. No matter what's coming up against you. Because the, thing, the enemy comes but to steal, to kill, and destroy. But whenever you begin to begin to rejoice, you know the Lord God said, I'm going to give you a garment of praise when yes. the Spirit of heaven is Yes, so, you Lord. know, when, when, when it seems like your enemy comes up and, and spreads and talks these lies about you, you know what, start, start saying, thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Oh, yeah. That's where you want me to go, Lord. That's where we're going. Amen. Amen. We start rejoicing and say, Father, I want to thank you, Lord God. Yeah. I want to thank you because if the enemy is trying to come up against me that hard, oh. if my foe is coming up against me that hard, I must be doing something right, right in the kingdom. Yeah. Amen. I must be doing something Bruce right. Pass the, the devil don't mess with people that's already on the table. Pass right. That's right. Yeah. I don't want to mess with somebody yeah. that you already got. That's so right. I'm here to tell you, if you're getting this unnecessary pressure, unnecessary lies, backstabbing, talking about, kicking down, yes, you must Lord. be doing something yes. right. Preach, Pastor. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I'm going to go on record and say Yes, Lord. Yes. You got to know your fault. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You must know your fault. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I'm meaning this with all of my heart. Yeah, I got fire in my eyes. Yes, Lord. I'm serious. I'm serious in the name of Jesus. I'm going to recognize, and I want you to recognize who your enemy is. Yes, Hallelujah. Don't, don't be playing with the devil and don't play with the enemy's game. You must understand yes, that surely enough, your enemy is a foe. He's coming up against you. He's not for you. So when the Lord God tells you to put on your full armor of God, put it on. When he tells you that, be sober, be vigilant too. But when he tells you to rejoice, do you realize that your praise will conquer a lot of things that the enemy is doing? Do you realize? Whenever you're watching your toughest time, I know it's hard, but you know 
when you're going through your roughest moment, just say, Lord, I just want to praise you. Yes, Lord. Lord, I just want, and you know what? Wipe your tears. Cry yes, Lord. through it. But praise your way through it. Amen. 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 Praise your way out of it. That surely enough, God will come through for you. Yes. Hallelujah. He's not a man that he should lie. Amen. Come on now. Amen. If he said it, so shall it be. If he spoke it, it shall yes, come Lord. to pass. Amen. 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 Jesus. So, Lord, I thank you, Holy Spirit, for, for somebody to definitely make a little. But Lord God said in Philippians 4 4, rejoice in the Lord Jesus. always. And again, I say rejoice. If you don't remember nothing else tonight, you don't remember what about your foe and your enemy, know that the Lord God said, you know what? I'm not going to focus on my enemy. Yes, Lord. I'm going to Yes, Lord. I'm Amen. Gonna Amen. On my I'm gonna focus on rejoicing Amen. because I know my brother's Amen. taking care of my enemy. That's you know right. how I know he's taking care of my enemy? He said, You know what? He said, I will make your enemy your, your footstool. Foot yeah. I don't know about you, I'm about to prop up. You know? Yes, Lord. Lord. I'm about to prop up in the name of the Lord. You know what the Lord God said in his word? He said, I will make your enemy. Your footstool. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you want chapter and verse for that one? Help me, Holy Ghost. The name of Jesus. When the word of the Lord God said, it's mentioned first in, so in, in the book of Psalms. In the book of Psalms is where it's mentioned first. Psalms 110 and verse 1. It says, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies. All right. Your footstool. The Lord God said, Sit. He didn't say fight. Sit. Sit. Go sit down. Yes, Lord. Go sit down. Go sit down. Go sit down. Sit at your, sit at my, the Lord God said, you know what, you've been back and forth, but the Lord God said, I want you to sit at my right hand. Do you realize when we talk about God's right hand, yeah, yeah, yeah. that is the hand of power. Uh -huh. yep. Amen. How many of you got Psalms 110 and verse 1? It says, sit at my right hand till I tear. Amen. I mean, until I make your enemies right. your footstool. Mm -hmm. The Lord God says, I'm about to make, I'm about to laugh. Amen. And your enemies are about to Preach, Pastor, preach. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. When the Lord laughs, I'm going to tell you, whenever the Lord begins to laugh, the enemy is crying. You must have said in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I love it because he's making. It's good, brother. He's making my enemies my footstool. I don't know about you, but you must understand. When God said that your enemy is your footstool, how many of you know what a footstool is? Amen. You know what a footstool amen. is? Amen, amen. That's amen. just something that you prop your feet yes. up on. Yes, yes. So you realize that whenever your feet is propped up on it, and your feet are what? Elevated. elevated. Yeah. Did you hear what the Holy Spirit said? Yeah. You're about to be elevated. elevated. Praise God. In the name of whatever's going on, you're about to be working out just perfectly for me. Yes. Well, in case, I'm going to give you a news flash. It's called, but you're a child of God. Yes. You are enemy to the devil. Yes. He can't stand you. So why would he make your day smooth? Jesus. Why would he make everything good? Preach pastor, that's you must good, understand, right? As a child of God, you see, that's where we, we need to help the body of Christ. Yes. Because the body of Christ thinks that everything's going to work out in my faith. Yes. Oh, I'm going to preach yes. this. I would not get an amen. 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 You know, see, but the body of Christ needs to realize everything will not work out. We believe God for favor, yes. but everything does not work out in our favor. But thank God yes, for being God. Lord. Because you know, sometimes the Lord allows amen. us to go through some yes, things. Lord. He allows us to go through that yes, pressure. Lord. He allowed, but doesn't mean he left us. Doesn't mean he forsakes us. The Lord God says, I'm just perfecting you. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I want the best that God amen. has for me. The Lord, yes, I'm going to go through everything the Lord would have for me to go through if that's what I got to go through to get to. To get, yes, right, Lord. Now. Some of y'all yeah. yeah. go to get to. Yes, Lord. You gotta go through to get to. Yes. See, some of y'all don't want to go. go you you want to go to it, but you don't want to go through it. Oh, yes. Yes. You want to go to it, but you don't want to go through it. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. You want somebody to just 
Or I'm going to pick you up and just carry you all over there. No, no, no. How did they get out of Egypt? Okay. Yes, Lord. Did they, they went through did it. somebody pick them up and say, yo, get on my back. Did Moses carry all of these? Did Moses, what did they do? The they went through it. up and they went through, through it. Everybody walked through themselves. Nobody was piggybacking on Moses and nobody. They all walked through it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to help Amen. somebody. Amen. Preach, Pastor. In order for you to get to the That's promise and you got to go through yes, it. Yes, Lord. You can't keep yes, expecting Lord. everybody to pick you up. Amen. Jesus. Woo, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. You can't expect everybody to, well, you know what? They're going to pick you up and, oh, I got you. Oh, All right. Take oh, oh. Take wait, wait, wait. wait. I, 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 I. <laughs> Baby, you got to stretch your legs. Preach, up. Pastor. Yeah. Preach. You got to learn how to walk. Yes, Lord. You got to learn how to, you got to learn Bro, how to pray you yourself. You got to, yes, you got to get it, baby. Come on, you got to pass through. I tell your neighbor, know your fault. Know your fault. Tell your neighbor on the other side, know your fault. Know your fault. You must know who your opponent is. I'm going to continue to point it out that it's the devil that's causing that's all of this trouble. Right, yeah. In case you're wondering who's causing the spirit of confusion to happen, it's called the devil. Oh, Amen. Amen. Because God is not a God of confusion. Yes, Lord. First pass. He's not the author of confusion. So well, who's writing that confusion book? Who's okay. <laughs> the devil. He got his name all on it. Confusion. John. <laughs> Hallelujah. So if God didn't, he's not the author of it, then why are we falling prey to it? You must understand, uh, you, there are characteristics that you can recognize for a foe. Oh, I'm about to help somebody out. There are characteristics that you can recognize from a foe. An individual that, they, that lies, cheats, uh -huh. Jesus. accuses, uh -huh. and look, white plans are still killing the storm. Ooh, Jesus. Like a wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The, the, the word of the Lord God said there are six things that I hate and seven is an abomination. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six things that he hates and seven is an abomination. Well, in case you're wondering which one is it, the Lord God says the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. If somebody is going around, whenever you're lying, do you not think that that's destroying somebody? Yes. Amen. Talk to me, sanctuary. Amen. 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 Lord. It's not a, you're like, well, it's just a, it's just a little white lie. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. Lies got caught. Uh -huh. No. No. Uh -huh. Somebody help me because the last time I checked, lie is a lie. Lie. Amen. 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 No color, no matter big or small, it still does the same damage. Amen. Amen. All right now. Amen. Amen. See, you got to recognize Amen. the foe. You got to recognize the character. Amen. I'm trying to help the body of Christ out. I'm moving right along, but you must understand. You must know your foe. Tell your neighbor, know your foe. Know your foe. You must understand who they are because they they go around lying. <laughs> they go around accusing. You, you know what the Bible said? The enemy goes around there accusing us. Sit at the right hand. Of the father, you know the devil. Does. Did you see what she did? Mm -hmm. Did you see what she? Did you see what they went? Did you watch? Preach, pastor. He said, I mean, "My God, we talk about a tattletale." Yeah. <laughs> He's always accusing me. You got, I'm telling you, you got to learn to when you watch the characteristics of a foe. A foe is, a, you must understand that a foe is someone that desires to, to hurt or to harm. Amen. Amen. Their agenda is not to build you up. And I'm told you must watch the character of a foe. See, some of you need to take, sit back and stop looking and listen. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Right. You know, you need to stop <laughs> Look and listen. And listen. Pay attention. To the yes, words that come out of their mouth. Yes. Watch their actions. Because I, I pose a question that some of you need to ask tonight before you before you lay your head down. Is that a friend or a foe? Yes. yes. Amen. Is that a friend or a foe? Yes. I'm not asking you to point out, but you need to recognize what spirits that, that, are, that are operating. Don't stop. What I'm trying to get you to understand is that stop encamping the enemy. Then you know there's a movie called Sleeping with the Enemy. Yes, indeed. There was a movie. A movie. Yes. That was called sleeping with the enemy yes, and the purpose of that and i hate to bring a secular in it but and forgive me lord what it meant is that it was housing someone that was not a good for them and i'm trying to d deliver somebody up in here in case you're housing somebody that's not good for you yes lord in case you're in case you're like well no 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 i'm not no no if you have a friend that you support it if they're not serving the lord and designed to praise the Lord and serve the You might be just have a foe. And they're just in wolf and sheep's clothes. Amen. You may not even recognize because yeah. you know what? Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to go on record to say uh, they're in the church. 
Uh-huh. First oh, pastor, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, yeah, they're like, wait a yeah. minute. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, in the house. Amen, we were amen. Outside. You know, I would love to say that the house of God is exempt. But you know, the Lord God, when he went many a time, when he was praying for people, he found the devil sitting in the church. In the church. Right. That's right. There was a demon possessed, possessed man. He wasn't sitting on the outside. He was on the inside of the church. Right. Hallelujah. He said that sometimes that it's on the inside of a man. So I want you to understand. Don't just be thinking, oh, the world got no, no, no. Even inside the house. Uh -huh. You know, it's a hard message. But uh, you know, I believe it needs to be said. Amen. It Amen. needs to be preached Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You need to recognize, know your fault. Oh, and when I you. say that, recognize the character. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Because people of God, we love one another in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know what? We're not perfect, but we show enough sight for excellence. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Amen. You need to be quick to repent. I'm Amen. not saying you're going to be walking a straight line. But when you make a wrong, you don't go around. Lord, that was, that was, okay. that was, that was, okay. oh, because they, Wait a minute, that's the accuser of the brethren. Uh -huh. yes. If you did something wrong, yes, Lord, it's me. Yes. I'm sorry, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. Be quick to repent. Have the heart of David. That you have the heart of God. He said, Lord, yes, it was me. Yes, I was doing it. I shouldn't have. But no, but see, the world, you know, that's what we got to be mindful of. Whenever we're saying friend or foe, we got to make sure that the world doesn't get into the church. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. That the world doesn't get into the church. Amen. Amen. What I mean by that is that, you know, it's good to walk in holiness. Yes, Lord. It's good to walk in love. It's good to say, you know what, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It's good, you know what, I wonder, hallelujah, when you know, uh, when you know your foe. When you know the people that are around you in the name of Jesus, you're not too concerned if somebody were to stand here and say, you know what, I'm just going to free fall. Who going to catch you? <laughs> people who love you. Running. Uh, yes, people who don't. Boom, free. Preach, Pastor. Uh-huh. Preach, Pastor. You must understand. Amen. You're like, well, this is such a hard one. I'm saying it, but that's not necessary. You must learn to discern. The Bible, the message that we're talking about, we need to discern who is on our team, who is on our side. A little leaven would destroy a whole loaf. You understand? You got one negative person going around saying, oh, you can't be healed. You can't be healed. You can't. Do you realize if you got that hanging out, it's just like a cancer. Amen. Oh Amen. Preach no, fast. No, no, no. Oh. Is oh, oh. Oh. I, oh. Everything else, oh, I'm not ever coming out. You know what? You know, I, I come to do some surgery. Amen. Get Amen. Rid of that thing Amen. Amen. Get up, uproot Amen. it. Take all of your tentacles and get out. In the name of Jesus. Because I'm not going to have that. Because the Lord got said, no, no, no. He said, I'm the God that healeth thee. Yes, I am Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. Jesus. And you know, healing is not just physical, emotional too. Amen. The Lord God said, I can heal every ailment, every pain, every heartache, every headache in the name of Jesus. But if you go, oh, I don't think that's real today. Get out. Jesus. Yes, yes, Lord. Know your folk. Know your folk. This is a discerning message in the name of Jesus. The Lord God said it even so much. You know what? He said, I did not come to bring peace, but I come to bring a sword. Amen. Amen. Jesus, Amen. The Lord said. Amen. Amen. You know what? Whenever the Lord God says that, you know what? Even brother against father against son, uh -huh. brother against yes, brother, brother, sister so against sister. Sister. You know what? That's not directly saying, you know what? The Lord God, and we learned it last time. Some relationships. Sometimes you'll have someone just that close, a sister or a brother, a mother, father, but they were going to come up. You know what? There's going to be some friction. Yes. There's yep. going to be some friction whenever they're not walking the same way. I don't know about you, or maybe that's just in my family. <laughs> oh, so everybody and I don't say, okay. You know, and, it, and even the same ones. There's a little bit of friction. Oh, yes. But you must understand the Lord God says we're not here to make friendship. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I, I come to Lord God, I come to bring a sword. Yes. You're like, oh, I don't like what I come, you know, cut tonight. Yes. Right here. Friend or foe in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you my friend or you my foe? Amen. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm charging. You know what? When you meet an individual, look, put that friend or foe. How do I know? You know, are you standing with me or against me? Because the Bible oh, no. says, if God be for me, who can, can be, be against, against me? me? And if, yes, if you're Lord. against me, then I wait a minute. Yes, Lord. I don't need to guess who side you're on. Right. Because the Lord God said, if God be for me, <laughs> and I know I'm, I'm asking the Lord, forgive me. Lord God, forgive me with my wrong. And I'm standing and I'm trying to do the best that I can for uh -huh. the glory of God, not for the glory of man. Mm. Amen. Amen. Preach, Pastor. Right. For the glory of God. Yes. Amen. Whether they see me or not. Amen. Right. Amen. Then I know if God before me, 
that who can be against Amen. so Amen. nothing but the devil Amen. and that's only my adversary that will come up against you I want you to know that the Lord God says tonight as I close that you need to know your foe Amen. be clear about it